So, here we are, Tuesday, October 22nd. They're stripping down the eucalyptus and clearing up the land because they're going to start putting the walkways around now. A couple of meters on each side and all the way around. But look at the changes. I don't know still about this, if this is the true color or just, just the base coat, but it's uh, supposed to be a gray, light gray. This is the giant oversized scooter door, which had always been small, maybe a meter and a half wide, meter and a half high, just enough to get the scooter in, but now it's full size. Now I can buy a bigger scooter? No, 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 no. Back patio was done yesterday. We'll see that from the other side. And back there is the upper deck. All the soffits are done, the painting is done, I think. Just waiting on the windows. Windows and doors. The kitchen was originally scheduled for the 25th in a couple of days, but um, not knowing if the windows and doors are gonna be ready, we decided to push it back until first week of November. So one, one week later. So this window here, um, originally, as always, was going to be just uh, non-opening non -opening glass, just like uh, fixed because there's no access to it. But these are the three that are upstairs, this one and two on the other side. So they were, should have been all gabled out and opened. But we'll see inside when they built the roof. Well, you've seen it on the previous videos. They didn't open the gable yet. So they are going to come back and do that. I don't know where I'm pointing right here. They are going to come back and do it, but uh, it's knocking down the eucalyptus. The window guys, they want to bring out their own metal scaffolding. They're a little bit more uh, safe, conscious, professional. I don't know. They just don't like eucalyptus. But these are the two gables from upside now. They're completely finished except for the windows. Those are going to have opening windows that open out. Quick look here. This is going to be the, um, the ramp, which comes up here to this area. This will be a higher level. And then there's going to be steps coming up here. The windows that I showed at the end of the last video, the opening sliding doors are going to come along here and along here. This one will be made up of uh, two pieces here, so they'll be able to slide, I think, interchangeable. This way will be made up of three, three larger pieces, which can all open either direction. We've decided not to use the bifolding ones because they would either go out to the patio or split the patio and living room up. So. This here is going to be a regular access style door, maybe oversized, maybe, I have no idea. Let's just leave it at that. So there's lots of fishing lines that they've laid out right now for their tile work. So I have to make sure not to step on anything. So the tiling for the kitchen is done now and it's been setting up for a few days. They still haven't grouted anything. And it looks like they've kind of gone like with the Invisa seam. This, the tiles are really close. I guess that's okay, I don't know. And uh, otherwise, yeah, that's going to be the color. And I think it's going to continue right through here. They just started building this wall. A little bit slow to the game. I'll back up a bit. So this wall is supposed to be up like this and across here. And then they're putting the pantry shelves in. Then here there's going to be like the doors that open up. Pantry doors that open up. And then that'll be smooth and painted. This is going to be the freestanding sink. There's going to be a washing machine next to that. And then all the shelving for pantry up here and maybe at least open racks or something to put the soaps and things on out here. These are the things that have been since like the first week of video. They've cut them and capped them, but they still seem awfully high. But this is the patio out here they're going with. And the painter. That's what he got. This side here, they'll put the patio on after. And there's gonna be the water tanks and the water pump.
this is the look sort of how it's going to be. Um, up top there we're going to have the railings, which will turn and come down. The lower portion of the glass I still understand is going to be like a translucent. And then the top half will be transparent, that open slide turn, I don't know how it, I don't know. But the roof is done. Have a look at that, eh? So what we see though, well we'll see it when we get upstairs. Okay, let's go down into the bedrooms. So the master here, still not uh, grouted. Just want to make sure before I start walking in things. And then under the stairs here, this is gonna be for Yumi's uh, crate, her cage. And then more room up here. All the electrician and wiring, everything is done. We've got the drop ceilings done. Through here, it's gonna be uh, closet shelving uh, cupboards and things going like this, like a seven. The bathroom will have a sliding door on it here, on the outside. Inside there's gonna be the two sinks, the bathtub, access, Floors are done, all the tiling, everything in here is done. They do all the floors and then the painter comes in. So now there's paint all over, but I'm sure it comes off. I have like some of those crazy millipedes. Centipede? Million? Millipedes. That's gonna be the standing walls, so the shower, with the glass partitions over on this side. I think this might be the glass partition, I don't know. It's gonna be the urinal and the toilet, magic toilet from Japan. Oh, here's the urinal right here. Nice, plumber's getting ready. feel a real breeze still down here. I've often commented that there's quite the breeze. Coming down this way here, just checking out the floor, all good. So here's gonna be the, just the um, floating sink. So there's access sort of underneath it. The water will be able to drain anything like that. It's gonna be the toilet. The uh, two waters always, one for the toilet, one for the bum gun. And one for the sink, that, hmm. I don't know. I don't know why we have more water here. Oh, because we have hot water in this bath? No, we don't. No, we don't. Why do we have two there as well? I don't know. Maybe one's, one's for the tap? I'll let you know in the updates. There's the window up there. Still need uh, some paint in here. They've done all the grouting, everything on the floor and walls. I think she's just preparing to do the grouting in this one now. So I'll just show you real quick, except the drop ceilings. Yes, and they take their trowel and they chisel out all the cement that gets left behind. So you get nice, nice grout. Let's take a run upstairs. These are gonna be the switches eventually. These are gonna be the lights going up the stairs. One, two, three. I still think there's gonna be pot lights above us, which will be like in maybe three sections somehow. So we can just turn these ones on above the stairs if we want, or all three, or just those, or... And then once we choose, eventually there's gonna be a chandelier hanging down the center part somehow, but we're not sure. I don't know if I want like a giant chain, like 20 feet of chain, but I don't know. Right here, that's where the gable is. As you've seen in the previous videos, but not here. So now the ceiling guy, we can't get a hold of the ceiling. Well, not us. Builder can't get a hold of the ceiling guy. So they just need to finish off the tiles up here. Otherwise they're done. Nice and shiny, grouted. Oh, painters are here. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, so the house was built with a gable here. It's just not cut out yet. So I've explained before, they put down sort of a, the base that he's kind of smoothening out, not making it smooth, but making it level and sort of compact. Then they often goop the back side of the tile, sometimes smooth, sometimes it's uh, scratched. Then they set it in place and tap it down and then eventually everything hardens. So the change in tile right here, that's gonna be the outdoor, outdoor patio. So the doors are gonna come right along here and along here. Once or twice. <laughs> so coming in from the garage here, we have 
finally started this. So we've got the wood frame up. That's going to be where the double doors are. This will all be smooth like the rest of the walls. It's going to go up and that's going to be quartered over as well. Then inside there's the laundry tub, freestanding washing machine. And then on that side is going to be all pantry shelving and everything like that. And maybe more shelves above the top of the washing machine just for the laundry soap and softeners or whatever. And then over here by the sink. And a nice window there for ventilation and light. But then when time comes, we can just close this over, close the two big doors, and that's that. So this is the end of the day that I shot the long video on when I did the full walkthrough. So they've done more of the tile work out front and all around. That's all on the outside. So that looks good. Very happy with a lot of it. Anyways. So yeah, gives a bit of a border around. Posts look nice and big now. Oh, cracking. My cracking. Like this kind of stuff. Gorgeous ceilings. All of the eucalyptus jungle has been taken down now, completely taken down and uh, off to the recycled disposal. Here's one of these fish lines here. I don't know if you can see it, but they drop them down so they know exactly where their corners are. Sometimes they use a fluorescent fish lines. Come on, let's do this.